Hello, people of the internet, Andrew here, and I was just thinking, have you noticed nobody in a YouTube video ever looks relatively comfortable whatsoever? They're either sitting in one of those big fucking gaming chairs that look so plush, so soft, but have absolutely no lumbar support, or they're in some weird setup, they're sitting on some sort of small couch, some bullshit like that. Nobody looks comfy. Everybody looks like they have a pole shoved up their ass. But I'm changing that today. I'm laying on my couch. This is going to be more of like a talking video. Just sharing my thoughts. Eating some cucumbers. Delightful. And yeah. I like the setup. Just me laying down, talking to y'all. And I still have a pole shoved up my ass, but... At least I'm more comfortable. <laughs> I'm kidding. My rectum is quite empty. Well, that was weird. That was really weird. So, tell me about the new lighting setup, guys. I have the flash of my iPad facing me. I have this random blue light behind me and my hallway lights on, so... I know it looks like shit, but... Your boy doesn't give a fuck. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like usual, please like and subscribe so we can tell YouTube that we're not interested in this bullshit, advertiser-friendly, censored content. We want raw, uncensored fuckery. That's right, bitches. Raw, uncensored fuckery. I like that. <laughs> All right. Andrew, stop stalling and talk about what you want to fucking talk about. So, today, no, it's technically 2 a.m. now, so yesterday, I made a video called Checking Out the New Burger King in Cambridge. Like, a new Burger King opened and I checked it out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And in the video, I said... I think I'm going to get a copyright claim because... All the background music, you know, when you're in a restaurant, they play music on the loudspeaker. Normally shitty music because y'all know I work at a restaurant and I swear all restaurants in the world use the same fucking playlist and it's awful. I don't like it. You know, cucumbers. Why am I banging my cucumber against my coffee table? I don't think every... I don't think anybody on YouTube has ever said, why am I banging my cucumber against a coffee table? <laughs> so like I was saying, I thought I was going to get a copyright claim because the music was loud. And when I'm indoors and there's people around, I try not to be as loud and, and obnoxious as I usually am. I'm so loud and obnoxious, but maybe a tad bit less loud and obnoxious. But... So I don't know if the music overtook me or something, but guess what? When I uploaded it, upload, why can't I say uploaded it, uploaded it, uploaded it, when I uploaded it to YouTube, I checked the studio and guess what? It got copyright claimed. And I don't even fucking know what song that was playing on the loudspeaker did it, like, it's not telling me, and there, you know when a video is claimed, there's usually a little pre-made comment saying, so, music and video is Ash Cheeks Deluxe, Deluxe, sung by Andrew Callender, or whatever it is. And no, I did not sing a song called Ash Cheeks, Ash Cheeks, <laughs> why can't I talk? I did not sing a song called Ass Cheeks Deluxe, yet, at least. But, yeah, that was pretty much what happened, and... I was like, bitch, I told you so. Like, I knew that was going to happen. It was such a pain in the ass. It really pissed me off. But still, yeah, I got copyright claims. So we're going to talk about some copyright claims for the next however long I feel like sitting here. So, in my history of making YouTube videos, all 194 videos, only four of them, are copyright claimed. 
my handsome Squidward reaction video, which was literally the fifth video I ever made on this channel. My fucking, what says it? My thunderstorm time lapse, which I just put my camera up on the windowsill and just filmed the thunderstorm, sped it up, and put the, what's it called? The Dracula music. I can't think. It's from fucking Bach, but. Yeah, that got copyright claimed. And I made a whole video about freaking out about it, and I was like, why the fuck is it copyright claimed? But now I come to learn that the music might be public domain, but the bitches who play it, they want their coin. Bitch. But. But, but, but. That happened. The next video was one of my most recent ones. It was my Remembrance Day video, which was pretty much just me filming the event. And because they played the last post, it got copyright claimed. Like, who the fuck is the copyright holder of the last fucking post? Bitch! So that really pissed me off. But I was like, yeah, fuck it. I don't want to make a video about it. I was going to... Because I was talking about some really deep shit in that video. Like, how I lost my my grandfather's brother got shot down in the Second World War. I lost a lot of my... Lost a lot of family. My grandfather that I unfortunately never met came back and horrible PTSD. He was, just say, the war changed him for the worse. But then, knowing I made that video to respect all of them, and just respect all the veterans, that was the only fucking video I ever made on this channel that I didn't curse at all. I actually did censor myself in that video. Because, out of respect, I didn't want to be dropping fucking F-bombs every 30 seconds and, you know, the normal shit. But, yeah, but that honestly pissed me off, though. That one, because who the fuck has the copyright for the last post? And they didn't even play it on some sort of radio. The guy literally had his own fucking trumpet and played it himself. He literally played it himself and it still got copyright claimed. If it got claimed by the city of Cambridge's Legion, okay, I would understand, because I did record their event. But no, it was some fucking asshole in a different country, like... So I guess the melody itself is copyright claimed, or copyrighted, or copyright material? Honestly, when it comes to copyright, it's a hard thing, but for creators like me, and most of them on YouTube, in my opinion is, the second you push record... That video is no longer yours. It's everybody's. Like, if you don't want people to use your video, they won't, if you don't want people to change your video, if you don't want people to re-upload your video, if you don't want people to react to your video, don't post fucking videos. That's it. Like, I'm an amateur photographer myself, and fuck it. Like, my job is done when I push upload. That's it. Everything is done when I push fucking upload, and that's it. Y'all can shove it up your ass, all that I care. Because when I'm done, I'm gonna go out to do some more shit. Now, I don't give a fuck. Like, if somebody wants to download all my videos and upload them to a different channel, first of all, you need help, because, bitch, like, too much of my content is probably bad for your health, but... Yeah. In my opinion, it doesn't fucking matter. When the fucking video, picture, movie, whatever you created is uploaded to this platform or any platform, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, fucking, what else is out there? Instagram, Snapchat, Pornhub, X Hamster, fucking... It's not your fucking content anymore. It's the internet's content. But when it comes to, like, film studios and record labels, that's when it starts getting kind of... Yes, they're putting money into it, and I know some... Ah, still. Like, if you release something to the world, it's no longer yours. You can, ha you can do things to m make sure that people will know you created it, such as, like, putting, like, time... A uh, timestamp? What the fuck? Timestamp? No, not a fucking timestamp, you fucking dingus. Like, a little watermark or something in the corner of a video, like... Or, yeah, put a watermark on a picture or sign your picture before you upload it, so... 
people know it's yours, but still. You can't stop them from using your content. If you're so scared of people breaching your copyright, oh damn, breaching your copyright, that sounded like something very, very explicit. <sighs> Y'all want somebody to breach your copyright, huh? <laughs> damn, no. Nobody breaching my copyright. All jokes aside, though, if you're scared of somebody breaching your copyrights, don't fucking upload it to the internet. Don't fucking share it. Don't post it on a fucking... your community center's bulletin board. Because this second you share it with other people, that piece of content is no longer yours. It's the world's. Do you think the fucking Mona Lisa has copyright to it? Like, bitch, no. Like, so many different versions of it have been made. So many different prints. I completely agree. It shouldn't be, for a moral reason, like, out of respect, giving credit to people, by all means, do it. Like, make sure you give credit to the original artist, poster, or... Creator. But technically it shouldn't be a legal requirement. I know people are going to be really pissed and very against this idea, but in my opinion, it's true. If you don't want somebody to steal your content, don't fucking post it. Hang it up, frame it, keep it on your computer. Just don't post it. Because the second it's uploaded, the second it's shared to a different person, the second somebody else seen it, it's not your content because somebody else could re-upload it. Somebody else could use it as inspiration to make a different piece. Somebody could do so many things with it because that's it. And when it comes to vlogging too, like that's a scary thought. Because I know today was just a claim, like, bitch, like, claims. Your boy is kip. Your boy is not even close to even being able to monetize his videos, but even if I was, I probably even wouldn't. Because like I always say, I will not monetize my videos until I can create the content I want to create without being fucking censored. Because I'd rather go unmonetized and create the videos I want to, because creating videos is fun. That's all I care about, like, going out there, exploring these abandoned places, fucking sitting here talking to you guys, it's fucking fun. And that's all that really matters. But, yeah, like I was saying though, like, fucking like, just say you walk into a grocery store and some fucking, what says it, music's playing in the background. What happens if that's grounds for a copyright strike? It's not your fault. Like, you can't control what, who's playing what. Like, if somebody drives past in their car with some sort of copyrighted music playing, what happens if that's a strike next time? Like, you could lose everything you've created just because somebody's playing music in the background. I know my view of copyright will never come to existence. We're going to have to deal with this fucking fuckery that's known as content ID, copyright, fucking digital millennia, copyright my ass act of 1962, or whatever the fuck it is. So, there has to be changes. Because I was sitting in a Burger King talking to you guys they were playing music in the background, and that music is copyrighted. It's not my fault. Like, how can I can control? Like, am I going to go ask the people at the counter? Like, yo, bitch, I'm making a video. Can you turn off the music? I'm scared of getting a copyright claim or a copyright strike or the fucking record label or label coming to my house and shoving a cucumber up my ass. I think that last one's the most likely thing that would happen, but... <laughs> you have to think, though, like... There has to be things, like, if I dispute that one and just explain to them, like, hey, 
this music was in the background, I have no control of what's playing on these places. Like, to me, me creating videos is being out there in the world. Like, like what's going to happen? What, somebody's going to drive past playing Justin Bieber or something, and I'm going to get copyright struck because of that? Speaking of Justin Bieber, that is tomorrow's video. We're going to be looking at the new Justin Bieber Timbits. Bitch, you heard me right. Justin Bieber fucking Timbits. Tim Hortons teamed up with Justin Bieber to make new three, three new Timbits, and we are checking those out tomorrow. Bitch, that is going to be fun. And maybe another cucumber too, but... Timbits and cucumbers. I'm banging my cucumber again. But you have to remember, though, like, when it comes to this stuff, I don't know, like, y'all vloggers, not y'all vloggers, us vloggers need to be careful about this kind of shit because it could damage us and people need to be stopped being so anal. Like, if somebody uses your content... And even if they don't, man, yeah, fuck, low battery percentage, 10%, my fucking hairy ass. But, yeah, we're probably gonna have to end this thing off soon. But, yeah, like I was saying, if somebody uses your content, deal with it. If they're using your content to make slanderous remarks against you, that's a completely different can of worms. And that's like, you need to take that to the police and... That's slander. That's a completely different thing. That's not somebody violating your copyright. Seriously, if somebody's violating your copyright, I would suggest you seek legal help because that's wrong. Like, that's wrong. They're using you. <laughs> but, like I'm saying, if they're just re-uploading your videos, who fucking cares? You created your video. You reap the rewards of it. Who cares? Unless they're directly harassing you by making things with that. If it's just re-uploading, reacting, who cares? Honestly, guys, like the whole fucking, like, if you read a fucking story on Reddit, No Sleep, or whatever the fuck it is, you posted it, you created it, that's it. It's not yours anymore. Yeah. It's the right thing to give somebody credit, but if they don't, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Who cares? Yeah, you're a dick for not giving you, he's a dick for not giving you credit, but I guess that's it. Like, yeah, that's my thoughts about copyright. The second it's uploaded, posted, displayed, anything like that, it's no longer yours. It's the public's. And, and like I say, like, and I'll say that for a fact, like, and like, oh, Andrew, you wouldn't care if somebody upload, re-uploaded your video. You would make a big deal about it. Fine, fucking re-upload my videos. I don't care. Draw a fucking penis on my head. Bitch, like, I don't care at all. Just... People need to be stopped being so butthurt about copyright. And YouTube and these copyright labels really need to be careful because people create content with music playing in the background that's not their music and they don't have control over and it could destroy somebody's fucking channel. Y'all need to fix that because, god damn it, first of all, you have to deal with a bunch of ridicule while vlogging. These people look at you crazy, they yell at you for recording them like... And now you're going to have to deal with music playing in the background and worrying about your channel being struck down because fucking Walmart's playing Miley Cyrus in the background? Bitch. No. And I'm, am I going to get a copyright because I'm eating a fucking, what's it, what's the brand of this cucumber called? What's the brand of this fucking delightful cucumber called? Man. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. 
is the company who grew this cucumber and shipped it to the local Freshco and did that. Are you going to copyright claim me because I'm unlawfully using your cucumber in a video? Bitch. Like always, live life to the fullest and goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers.